everybody, Erin Earth here. Hi, um, I've been taking classes on studio.com for a little over a year now. I started out taking the music production classes and then I took a painting class and then I took a film class and then I was looking at a little uh, mild kitchen remod and I decided to um, just have some fun with some engineering classes. So that's so I took Mark Rover's class and uh, Simone Yetch's class together, which was a little crazy taking two at once, but it was fun to kind of cross reference them. And um, I'll show you what I've done. All right, just a quick scan of the kitchen. It's not done yet, but as you can see, I have instead of a pile of bags, school bags, and coats. On this bench, I have a place where we can eat, and I have a place to start my seeds. That was my build number one, which is really just rethinking materials, I guess. It's been working great. Let's do a little close up here. Oh, hey, Fender. How's it going, buddy? It's Fender Dog. My seeds. I planted, started uh, the Three sisters garden outside. Native corn, bean, and squash there. We got all kinds of seeds. I have a map. And I built um, so my second build. Oh, here's my plans. Here we go. So um, that shelf is this right here, but I ended up not putting the hooks because it would have blocked the lower, and the, the shelf I made was actually wire like a closet shelf that works really well. And it's adjustable and I can add more if I want to. And then I decided uh, for the second build, I was gonna do a little prototype with um, my um, art cabinet and just make like a folding, a fold away leaf that I can put up for projects, uh, for some more project space, just to try it out to see if it would work for my kitchen island, um, which was my other stipulation is that the organ had to be somewhere Pump organ stays in the kitchen stipulation. Um, and I was gonna move that to this brick wall. I ended up taking out a little piece of wall. Well, Yoda's going to be there. Um, but when I moved the organ, it looked weird over there. And then also the fold away thing, I don't think would work for the organ. I got some stools and I'm going to end up just sitting on it, I guess, and eating. I think these need to be shorter. But, um, well, anyway, it's going to look really nice. And it's fun to just kind of think outside the box. That really helps. I'm taking uh, the old kid art down. I also turned the vegetable holder. It was just holding this many potatoes. I've turned it into a paint holder. That worked out nicely. Um, but yeah, I've been taking down the kid art. It's so great. Look at this stuff. But they're teenagers now. And so, oh my God, this one. Big smiles. Look at this plan. This is my, these are my kiddos here. They're big. They do big kid art now. These are gray. So we are gonna just end up using this as an art gallery, I think, for when friends come over and clients come over, they'll see what we do right here. Oh, and this, um, I didn't end up using uh, my prototype for my art bench. I found this the other day at uh, the ReStore, um, which is a Habitat for Humanity store, and uh, it just works perfectly for <laughs> projects in the kitchen. I'm always cooking in the kitchen. I'm always doing a project and going back and forth, but now I have space that is not the dining room table. I can paint paintings. I can use tools. And I can plant seeds right from here. This is great. Oh, here's my seed map. Oops, sideways. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great day. Do fun things. There's so many fun things to do.
And thank you, Studio.com, Mark Rober, and Simone Yetch for keeping me flexible and inspired and creative on this kitchen remod. Thank you.